Good morning, my music friends. It's Music Monday. I am so happy you're here today. Are we going to have some fun? Some new games, some old games. And look, I have a new friend to introduce you today. Hi. This is Max. Say hi, Max. Max is just a puppy yet, so he doesn't really talk yet. And he's kind of shy. But he's so happy you're here too. And welcome to you, Max. Yeah. Okay, are you ready, boys and girls? Do you have your shoes off? Get those shoes off so we're nice and comfortable in our socks or our bare feet. And let's get those arms out. We're gonna go tick, tock, tick, tock. And do you remember the song that we always start with? Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! Always like starting with that happy little song. Okay. Do you remember Gregory Griggs? I love Gregory Griggs. Remember, he's the crazy guy with 27, 27 different wigs that he wears. Okay, get ready, because we're going to do some movement. Gregory Griggs, Gregory Griggs wore 27 different wigs. He wore them up. Did you remember to go up with your voice? He wore them down. He wore them all around the town. He wore them east. He wore them west. He wore the ones that he liked best. Let's do it again, and Gussie's gonna come along this time. Gregory Griggs, Gregory Griggs wore 27 different wigs. He wore them up, he wore them down. He wore them all around the town. He wore them east, he wore them west. He wore the ones that he liked best. Yay, great. Okay, this is a new one, I think. This is, I like so many of our songs and games. This is my all time favorite. Every little one I've done this with loves Tommy O'Flynn. So parents and caregivers, put your knees up and make a hill and put your child on your knee. And we're gonna bounce. Bounce. Wait till you hear this story. Tommy O'Flynn and his old gray mare were going to the county fair. The bridge fell down. And the bridge fell in. Woo! And that was the end of Tommy O'Flynn, 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 O'Flynn. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. The little ones love falling down. Here we go. Tommy O'Flynn and his old gray mare were going to the county fair. The bridge fell down and the bridge fell in. And that was the end of Tommy O'Flynn, 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 O'Flynn. <laughs> okay, now the more your child gets used to this game, I'll show you how to work in some pauses and then you know that their brain is working. The wheels are turning and they're waiting for something to happen. And you'll start to see them maybe go like this to get the story or the song moving along. Okay, here we go. So watch where I put my paws. Tommy O'Flynn and his old gray mare were going to the county fair. The bridge fell down. And the bridge fell in. And that was the end of Tommy Flynn, 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 Flynn. <laughs> Hopefully you were surprised by that. Uh, by the third time, they're expecting the bridge to fall right away, but it doesn't. So that's, uh, that's a great way to get your child's brain working and thinking. They're, they're wondering, hey, this happened before. Why is it not happening now? And uh, as I said, some of them might do this. I've seen children do this, like, come on, come on, I know what's coming. And the other thing, when the bridge goes down, you can say the bridge fell in and not move yet. And then move so that it's a surprise. They love the surprise. 
All right, good job. Thanks for joining me on that. I love Tommy O'Flynn. Okay, we're gonna get my other little buddy here and we're gonna do a little pony song. And this is gonna have fast, slow, and medium speeds. So the child is gonna start to differentiate between tempo, in music we call that tempo. So we'll start at a medium tempo. Beat, beat, here I go. See my pony, see my pony, I ride him each day. See my pony, see my pony, I ride him each day. Clip, clop, clip, clop, go his feet as he's walking down the street. See my pony, see my pony, I ride him each day. Hooray! Okay, now we're going to go faster. See my pony, see my pony, I ride him each day. See my pony, see my pony, I ride him each day. Clip, clop, clip, clop, go his feet as he's walking down the street. That was pretty slow, wasn't it? Should we go fast again? See my pony, see my pony, I ride him each day. Hooray! Good job! See the pony galloping, galloping down the country lane. See the pony galloping, galloping down the country lane. See the pony galloping, galloping down the country lane. See the pony galloping, galloping down the country lane. See the pony galloping, galloping all tired out. All tired out. All tired out. Oh, good. So fast, slow, and medium. I also did some loud and soft in there. Let's do that one again, so your child, again, even hearing it the first time, they're gonna anticipate what's happening. So we start like a medium tempo. Beat, beat, ready, let's go. See the pony galloping, galloping down the country lane, loud. See the pony galloping, galloping down the country lane, fast. See the pony galloping, galloping down the country lane. See the pony galloping, galloping down the country lane. Slow. See the pony galloping, galloping, shh, all down the country lane. See the pony galloping, galloping, shh, all tired out, all tired out. Hey, good job! I hope you enjoyed that one. All right, I have a new friend today. My buddy Drew got me a very special little animal that I asked for. Do you know what he is? Can you tell what he is? That's right, it's a squirrel. Hello, Mr. Squirrel, I'm so glad you're here today. What, what? Oh, he wants nuts. I'm sorry I didn't bring you any nuts today. I think I have to bring him some nuts next time, right? Will you be happy then? Okay, good. Now this song is about a gray squirrel. I know that you're a chestnut colored squirrel. <laughs> Sort of a tan colored squirrel. But my song is about a gray squirrel. Is that okay with you? As long as I sing about squirrels, he's happy. <laughs> okay, okay. Watch what Mr. Squirrel does. The squirrel is on the rooftop. The squirrel is on the ground. I think he's finding his own nuts right now. The squirrel is on the treetop, running all around. So that can be a little bit of a tapping game and it can be a tickle game as you take your fingers or a puppet and you tickle them on their tummy or their back or down their leg and their toes. This is a good one for bathtub time. You know how I love doing music and games during bathtub time. This is another great one to do that you can kind of scrub their head Scrub their belly, their arms. Okay, let's do that one again. Are you ready, Mr. Squirrel? Oh, I think he liked it too. 
Are you ready? The squirrel is on the rooftop. So tap your child's head. The squirrel is on the ground. Tap the ground. The squirrel is on the treetop. Have them stick out their arms. Running all around. Tickle, 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 tickle. Oh, oh, he liked that one. Good. We'll do that one next week. We'll have you back next week again. Does that sound good? All right. Good. Thank you for joining me, Mr. Squirrel. You know, I think performing for you really warmed him up. I don't think he's so shy anymore, are you? Okay. I'll see you next week then. Okay. During our music time, um, I talked about how you don't have to have authentic music instruments to do a lot of our activities. You can find anything at home to help your child um, make a sound, okay? They can pretend they're playing on a drum by using a Tupperware container, pots and pans, maybe they've done that already, um, spoons, uh, wooden utensils, something that makes a different sound. And I don't happen to have rhythm sticks at home, so I brought my two wooden spoons to show you that you really can make music with anything at home. Okay, so if you want to grab some sticks after a while, right now you can tap on your child, you can tap on the floor. There's a cobbler down the street mending shoes for little feet with a bang and a bang and a bang 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 with a bang and a bang and a bang 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 mending shoes the whole day long mending shoes to make them strong with a bang and a bang and a bang 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 with a bang and a bang and a bang 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 god that's it now you can tap on the floor and do that same thing okay I'm going to, because I have my spoons here, I'm going to use the floor this time. Another thing you can do if you're watching this video live is you can tap in your child's hand. You can take both of their hands. You can tap on their foot. So you can do it on their shoulders, on their back. So many different things you can do. Okay. So I'm gonna do the floor this time. If you happen to already grab something, do the floor with me. Here we go. There's a cobbler down the street, mending shoes for little feet. With a bang and a bang and a bang, bang, bang. With a bang and a bang and a bang, bang, bang. Mending shoes the whole day long. Mending shoes to make them strong. With a bang and a bang and a bang, bang, bang. With a bang. And a bang, and a bang, bang, bang. Good job. I hope you joined me on that one. Okay. One of the things I was thinking about recently was a lot of people have trampolines. Or they have those small trampolines at home. And if you do, here's a way that you can work your trampoline into one of our games. So let's pretend... Let's pretend my drum is my trampoline. It can be the floor just as well. Okay, but let's say you do have a trampoline at home. Or if you allow your child to jump on the bed or on your, on your sofa, you can use that too. Um, I don't recommend it, but some people do that. So if you feel that's safe, then go ahead and do that. Otherwise, a trampoline or the floor. Have you seen my jumping bean? Strangest bean I've ever seen. It jumped off the table and onto the floor. Before I knew it, it jumped out the door. Jump, jumping bean, jump. Whoa, you had a big jump there, puppy, didn't you? Yeah, let's do that again. Have you seen my jumping bean? Strangest bean I've ever seen. It jumped off the table and onto the floor. Before I knew it, it jumped out the door. Jump, jumping bean, jump. Whoa, that was a real high one. Now, another thing you can do is um, 
If your child's not walking yet and is in one of those bouncy things that you attach to the door, that is so cool. How can you not do a steady beat, right? When you watch the child in those bouncy things and they're pushing and building those leg muscles and they're pushing off the floor, it's a steady beat. So get them bouncing or maybe they're bouncing on their own and say this little chant as they're in that little bouncy thing. Um, trying to think what else other than a trampoline. I'm sure you'll think of lots of other things that you can use where you can do the jumping bean sign. Okay, oh, are you ready? Are you ready? I've got something special today. My little horse. Now somebody needs to come ride my horse. Who wants to come ride? You wanna come ride again, puppy? Okay. You know how children love the uh, little hobby horses. So if you have one handy, or dig it out from the basement like I did. <laughs> rickety, rickety, rocking horse, over the fields we go. Rickety, rickety, rocking horse, getty up, getty up, go. A gallop, a gallop, a gallop, I'm galloping today. A gallop, a gallop, a gallop, I'm galloping away, hooray! Now again, just like that little bouncy um, activity, you have to rock in a steady beat. I mean, there's no way not to. It might be fast, or the child might go at a slower speed, but it's always steady. Even if it's a bouncy one, some of the real old rocking horses have the springs and they bounce up and down. That's the kind I had, <laughs> where you bounce up and down. Still, it's a steady beat. It just depends how fast it is. but. We're keeping the musical steady beat. So let's do that again. And if your child is old enough that they're pushing themselves, then you make match your rhyme with their steady beat on the horse. If they're a little young and they're just waiting for you to push them, then go ahead and push them back and forth to the steady beat. Rickety, rickety, rocking horse, over the fields we go. Rickety, rickety, rocking horse, getty up, getty up, go. A gallop, a gallop, a gallop, I'm galloping today. A gallop, a gallop, a gallop, I'm galloping away. Hooray! Good, make sure you always give that special uh, clap to them. They just love that. They love the reassurance and hopefully they'll start clapping along too and it makes music extra special fun and you're telling them, you're reassuring them they're doing a great job. Okay, here's an old song from long, long ago as most of these games are, but another little horsey activity or in that jumping um, seat. Trot, trot to Boston town to buy a stick of candy. One for you and one for me and one for Dickie Dandy. Trot, trot to Boston town to buy a stick of candy. One for you and one for me and one for Dickie Dandy. Good job. Lots of little pony activities. I love all the pony songs. Okay. We'll get our little horsey out of the way. Let's stand up and do some movement. All right, this little activity is called Pages Train, and we're going to go fast and slow and watch because I might do something else too. So, um, yeah, I'll show you how it goes. Use your child's name, okay? I'm gonna say the word page or the name page, but you put in your child's name, very important to give them ownership in everything that we do. Okay, so I'm just gonna simply walk around. You can walk with your child, um, holding their hand. If they're younger, of course you'll carry them. Pages train go so fast, they don't see nothing but the window glass. Pages train go so fast, can't see nothing but the good window glass. Go Pages train go, go Pages train go. You ready to go fast? 
Pages train go so fast, can't see nothing but the window glass. Pages train go so fast, can't see nothing but the window glass. Go pages train, go. Go pages train, go. Stop. Pages train go so slow, can't see nothing which way to go. Pages train go so slow, can't see nothing which way to go. Stop. Do you think we can go backwards? Let's see if we can get Pages train to go backwards. Pages train go so fast, can't see nothing but the window glass. Pages train go so fast, can't see nothing but the window glass. Stop. Go Pages Train, go, go Pages Train, go, stop. Oh, and the children love the stop. Okay, good job. It's time for some wiggles. This little cow eats grass. This little cow eats hay. This little cow eats barley. And this little cow runs away. But this little cow does nothing but lie around all day. We'll chase him, we'll chase him, we'll chase him away. <laughs> okay. We did that, I think, in our first or second session. So I hope you remember that one. Okay, it's time to move with music. Are you ready? I have a really good one today. It's a march by John Philip Sousa. Get ready. And march, 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 march. controlling their arms and, and legs. Oh yeah, you can sit them on the, on the floor and go back and forth with their legs too. Then you do it in front of them because they love to watch and watch you do it as well. Okay, I've got to switch CDs here. And instead of singing a lullaby today, I'm gonna play a lullaby for you. And we're gonna simply you can sit down, we can simply just rock back and forth.
important thing is that you're just ending with some hugs and snuggles and kisses. Also to bring him down off of the merry act of the last couple of things we've done. something very special for you so I hope you keep tuning in it's the end of our session already do you believe it boy that went faster when we have fun clap 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 your hands clap your hands together clap 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 your hands clap your hands together tap 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 your head tap your head together tap 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 your head tap your head together can you tap your nose or parents you tap the little one's nose depending how old they are tap 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 your nose tap your nose together tap 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 your nose tap your nose together tap Tap, tap your ears, tap your ears together. Tap, tap, tap your ears, tap your ears together. Stomp, stomp, stomp your feet, stomp your feet together. Stomp, stomp, stomp your feet, stomp your feet together. Wave, wave, wave goodbye, wave goodbye together. Wave, wave, wave goodbye, wave goodbye together. Yay, what a wonderful day. Don't forget to keep singing and dancing. See you next time.